Let's do this. Ready? Okay, yeah. It's short and sweet. Okay. What's this? This is the Smarty Pie display case. So this is a um, really lovely little way to... It's funny, we have like a doubler and then another doubler plugged in. Um, it's a case that holds your Raspberry Pi and one of the seven inch official um, displays. And it has even a little Lego connector on the back and you can like move, get your Pi in and out. Like it has a little hangy type thing going on and you can connect hats to it. And like it even has a little heat sink spot and it's like really nicely made. So I thought I could show it on um, the overhead. So yeah, it's like a nice, so yeah, you can use it as a touch screen, and, and it's you know got this really nice um, plastic enclosure that's that's molded. They make really great cases, and it's got this hinge that's a good hinge, and then just so everything's very nicely done. There's like a lot of PEM inserts, so you can attach like a vase mount type thing going on here. You get access to your Raspberry Pi Ethernet and USB ports. You don't get access to the HDMI port, but chances are you're not using it anyways um, since you're going to be using the screen. And uh, overall, just a really good case for this uh, this monitor. I like it. Yeah. I don't know what I did here. Eject. Move the waist back, scoot over. There you go. So that's that's it. Just the case. Okay. Buy the um, display separately, but we sell them. All right. Next up. What's this thing? Um, we have a little motor driver. So it's a cute little motor driver, but um, despite it being cute, it's quite powerful. So some people wanted some high power motor control. These can do up to 3.6 amps, up to 45 volts. Um, they're very basic. It just uses two PWM or digital inputs to control the motor, um, but really good when you have just a large motor. It also has uh, built-in current limiting, which I kind of like. So you can limit the current using an external resistor. It's not a sense resistor, so it's not in line with your signal so it like, doesn't get hot. You don't have to worry about having like a 0 0.001 ohm resistor. Instead, it um, I guess it's used as like a current multiplier or like a internal circuit that is current limiting. So it's an external resistor, you know, about 30K is what we put on there to start, but you can adjust it as necessary to change the current. So we thought, set the current limit to about two amps. That's a pretty good place for most motors. So when you put it on your Rover, if you stall out, um, you won't like, tear through your battery, it'll just like stop working instead of just like fighting, you know, the motor like continuing to fight the, um, whatever's obstructing it. And I've got a simple demo here. So this is just um, yet Arduino compatible. And then they have it hooked up to the two PWM outputs. So this is uh, nine and 10. And then I just um, uh, slowly ramp up and down. It only drives one DC motor, but you know, you're, if you want to have that much current going through a motor anyways, you'll want to have a separate chip. So let me turn this on. Give it a second to start up. There you go. Okay, I don't know why that was. So it um, speeds up the motor one direction, slowly speeds up, speeds back down, and then goes the other direction. So it's just a, a very simple demo of, sorry, it's a little loud. It's a very simple demo of a, of a motor. And then, um, you know, if you're if you're running the motor and you and you hold this so it can't turn, it does fight, but it you know eventually just like it doesn't keep going after a certain current limit. So it's good for your batteries if you have a, a power supply that's limited. See, when I fight, I just keep going. Yeah. Does that it also has internal thermal protection, under voltage, yeah. a couple other things. That's a cute little motor driver, handy for robots and stuff. Okay. That's it. All right. And with that is new product for the week, everybody. That was Yay. it. Yay. I know, short and sweet. Yeah, well, we had a bunch of news.